two years ago, first season of this show, we were doing our finale. It was presidential election. You guys remember what happened in that election, right? Donald Trump. No, was, oh, right? oh, I right. do he remember that. Right. Dave yeah. Chappelle hosted Saturday Night Live that Saturday night. On that show, you said, famously, at the end of your monologue, you said, I want to wish Donald Trump luck. I'm going to give him a chance if he gives a chance to the historically disenfranchised people. So we're two years later. How's that working out? I mean, are we watching the same television? How do you think it's working out? Apparently, he's having a terrible go. Yeah. I don't think... Uh, I don't think he's living up to his part of the of the bargain, and I'm I'm troubled by politicians that only speak to people that they believe will vote for them, and it's sad because you know he's got he's got the bully pulpit. It's the highest office in our land, so hopefully uh, we can either hold him to task or get someone in there that will think about all of us. Look, I I want the country to survive this guy, and I'm sure it will. You know, but I think that there's going to be a hangover after this presidency, unlike anything that I've ever lived through. You know, I think we've gone very far rhetorically, and I think that we just got a little mending to do. And I don't think that he's a, the kind of uh, a person that is culturally astute enough to really lead the charge on mending the fence. But he sure did tear the shit up, didn't he? So many people don't, they're just seeing the problems and they're so overwhelmed with it, they don't see a way out and a pathway out. So having these conversations, having these debates where you're really pushing forward really phenomenal ideas that can really positively impact communities across this nation and people have access just to that idea yeah. and understand, okay, if I had organized enough and I had shown up enough and I had prioritized enough, I might actually be living that idea. Well, then that's something to continue to grow into because right now it feels very hopeless for a lot of folks. Fundamentally, I think what you're seeing is that people are saying, I don't care what color these politicians are. I don't care how much money they have. What I care is what's in their heart. What I care is what their vision is. What I care is I think they'll help my family move forward.